country style ribs. First thing you need to know is they are not ribs. They are loin meat, generally cut close to the shoulder, and they can be tough. I cook them into pretty like I would normally St. Louis or spare ribs. I've had these brining overnight in an equal amount of salt and sugar water, half a cup each, in about a gallon and a half of water. After we get the brine drained off, we're going to dry them out best we can with some paper towels. And we're going to season them up. This time, we're going to be using Bad Byron's Butt Rub. It's a good barbecue seasoning, a little spicy, so we're going to go light on each side. After that, we'll get them in the foodie pot and sear them good. Keeping them around the edges because that high center just doesn't like oil. After we sear, we'll get them out of the foodie pot and deglaze with some of the cheese red wine. Shh, don't tell her. And some orange juice, about a half a cup of each. Stir that around a bit to deglaze and get our so-called ribs back into the pot. Sort them out a bit, move them around, make sure they're all cuddly and happy in that spa. And we're going to select power from on high for 20 minutes. And after that 20 minutes of high pressure, we're going to let it naturally release for 10. Then we'll do a quick release for that remaining pressure and set it free. Now that they're all pressure cooked, we'll get them out of the pot and strain this juice to get any imperfections out. Clean the pot, put it back in, and pour the juice back where it was. And just to show you the burnt tidbits we got out of the strain. And now that it's bubbling and simmering, it's time to make the sauce. The usual suspects. Ketchup, pup, 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 and brown sugar. Couple tablespoons of that. And I never make a homemade sauce without Grandma's molasses. The older folks call it sorghum. Matter of fact, I've harvested sorghum back in the country. Stir that around just for a bit. And last but not least, that zesty Italian dressing. For that acidic value to the sauce. Making just a tiny bit of cornstarch slurry to tighten it up a bit. I don't like thick starch, but I don't like it thin as water either. And it's taste test time. And here goes nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the best sauce I ever made. Holy crap. Ain't nothing this good can be legal. Hey, she. What? Call the police. What? Why? I've done something illegal and I want to turn myself in. I've created something so addictive. Look at this stuff. Oh, man. Here, just take a taste. Wow. Oh, my God. What have you done? I didn't mean to. I just mixed some stuff together and made a sauce. I don't think it's illegal to make barbecue sauce. I know. Quick, call Kraft Industries. Tell them we're flying them out a recipe. We want it processed in mass quantities and distributed all across this country immediately. Okay, what are you calling it? I don't know. Something fun like uh, uh, doo I know doo diddy doo diddy daddy sauce. Oh, yeah. doo diddy diddy dum diddy doo doo diddy Footy Daddy saying, I'll see you while I go.